Okay, next we're going to talk about how texts work, main ideas and details, and we're going to determine and analyze the two. This is a very important topic for the GED language arts exam. You're constantly going to be asked what the main idea is, what details are, and it's also very important in the essay and throughout the second domain. Okay, so the main idea is the primary thought the paragraph or larger text is trying to communicate. It's the big picture. It's what's trying to be said, what's being said. It's often communicated in the topic sentence. Generally, the first sentence in a paragraph or passage, but doesn't have to be. It's the big picture. Over there on the right, I have a picture of a hamburger. Uh, this is one of the ways that the parts of a paragraph can be depicted. The topic sentence is like the top bun. The supporting detail are like the tomatoes, lettuce, and the meat. The colorful vocabulary, okay, that spices things up, like the condiments, like mustard, ketchup, and relish. And we have our concluding sentence on the bottom. So you smush it all together, and then you have your hamburger. Okay, so... The topic sentence, it's like the top bun. It's where you get started. Supporting details, they develop on that. They develop the flavor a little until you get to the meat, you know, which is your body and those supporting details. And then uh, we have our concluding sentence, the bottom bun. Okay, it's very similar to how we'll talk about the five-paragraph essay later. Details. Details support the main idea, often with additional facts or arguments. You can't just say, hey, this is my opinion. That's it. That's, that's not correct. You're not going to convince anyone or support your ideas in a proper way using that methodology. But over there we have supporting details can include personal observations and experiences, anecdote, what I saw, what I experienced, facts, examples, statistics, and opinions. Okay, even though I said, eh, you want to be careful with them though, okay? Evidence and main ideas and details. I'm going to talk a little bit about the relationship between the main ideas and the details. The details back up the main idea. They're the foot soldiers following be behind the platoon leader. Which details support the main idea? Sometimes you will be asked that. So you have to look and you have to see. You're going to need to summarize information from a passage sometimes. So, given a passage, you, you have to be able to say, okay, what's, what, what's this about, more or less, in so many words. We'll talk about it a little more when we go in-depth in the main ideas and details in-depth. Okay? That's it for this time. I'll see you next time.